it goes without saying that the majority of the Black Panther cast is black. Um, there are only two white guys in here. You know, Andy Serkis and Martin Freeman. And because the two of them have both appeared in Lord of the Rings, people are calling them the Tolkien white guys. <laughs> Listen, if you don't want to laugh, my brother, then don't laugh, okay? <laughs> Yeah, that was cool. I mean, it's not like you guys haven't heard that fucking joke before. <laughs> I, I'll be honest, I never heard it. I mean, it's flow. It's, it's a very flow joke, man. It is very really flow. I didn't hear it before. Yeah, I didn't. That's a good work on your behalf. I, you know, you said Matthew come up with an opening joke. That's yeah. the best I could think of. It sounded much funnier in my head. Hey, I'm Matt. And I'm Peach. And welcome to that movie review. Also known as TMR. Black Panther is the 18th film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and it benefits from the groundwork that was laid in Captain America's Civil War. That's right Naya. Thanks to an introduction in Cap's third outing we're not made to um, endure or suffer through any long introductions. Instead we're given a quick, stylish and informative introduction to the world of Black Panther. And what a cool world it is. Wakanda is the ideal technologically advanced African country and I believe the filmmakers use the word Afrofuturism to describe the aesthetics of Wakanda. It is a romanticized notion what Africa or a country therein could be. But then again, this is all comics and fantasy. Having said that, this film is clearly a labor of love and it's one meant not just to entertain but to inform, protest and empower. Respect and homage has been paid to what it means to be African while also realistically pointing out the pitfalls. Black Panther navigates a fine line in its narrative, basically showcasing what it is to be African and the pride thereof, and then also the difficulty of it. Black Panther uses its world of fantasy to explore applicable socio and political dynamics while also tapping into the worldview of the black psyche. Dare I say, this is the FUBU section of Marvel. Black Panther allows all its stars to shine. Um, each central character is given enough screen time and given enough to work with to basically deliver a performance worthy of your viewership. No one in this cast is a late or extra add-on. Visually, this movie delivers the goods. The techno-wizardry of Wakanda is meshed with proud African traditions and aesthetics to deliver a movie that is unique in its optical qualities while still falling into the Marvel formula of commercial appeal. Black Panther offers another rarity in the MCU a well fleshed out villain oh, yes. with justifiable motives. This is often a criticism in the MCU, um, but Black Panther puts this to rest by giving T'Challa a villain that both he and we can relate to. I mean, Michael B. Jordan is actually just in here. He's yeah. the even. I mean, that man is Kabo or Yeah, he worked out. Nah, no, he really worked out. Really worked out. Yeah, yeah, really. Sure. And, and, and his portrayal of Killmonger in here was really just. I think everybody can forget about his cut portrayal. Of Johnny Storm. Oh yeah. In fucking uh, that. Yeah, I think fucking abomination that, that was, was fantastic for. for Maybe yeah, I think the other Stuart Miles Teller. Yeah, it's just yeah. the most hateable actor in Stuart. Hollywood. <laughs> Miles Teller. <laughs> Fuck me. What a Stuart. What? A Newell. What a night. Yes. I don't really like that man. I don't like that. I kind of liked him after War Dogs, but then it's I just realized after that I was like, nah, actually, I don't like. Short lived. Short lived. Very short lived. Black Panther offers a solid cast. As T'Challa, Chadwick Boseman offers a powerful and at the same time humble performance or demeanor. Um, Michael B. Jordan is ghetto but real. Excellent standouts in terms of performances also come from Lupita Nyonga, um, Danai Guerrero. Yeah, that Nai Guerrero. That Nai Guerrero. That yeah. Sounds like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, anyway. yeah, that Nai Guerrero. Yeah. And um, Letitia Wright as Shuri, who's, who's actually Black Panther, Black Blank Panther, Black Panther, Black Panther, the sequel, his sister, or, or the spoof, yeah, um, his sister, Luri, Shuri, Shuri, who's, yeah, she was cut funny. Cool. She she brought like the the, the comedic, comedic relief to the film, absolutely, um, and also she she humanized the child in a way as well because yeah. Chala, I mean the child walks around, he's all regal and cuck and he's a yeah. king and all this. But he has to have that demeanor. But, yeah, but. You know, you know, when you see him interact with his mother and his sister, yeah. it humanizes him a bit. Precisely, it brings out for the human elements. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely right, Matthew. Dude, the Nagarera actually kicks ass in here. I mean, I love her as Michonne already in The Walking Dead, but she really 
she put in work in this film, and yeah. you can see why she's the general of you know the oh, king's oh, army. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. No, she's, she's, she was I mean, present. She's, I mean, physically, she's imposing, mm. sexy at the same time. Very sexy. And you know, like you, you believe that she will that your she, gut. she will wipe your, she will mop the floor with your gut. With your wall. You mustn't, yeah. you mustn't even try <laughs> your gut. Don't even fucking don't try. Don't even try it. to step up to her and say, "Listen, can I buy you a drink or some <laughs> cut in the club?" No, just, just walk the just way now. Just walk, my bro. Yeah, just go there. Go and talk to that, that other movie. She looks like a guy anyway. Anyway, um, the rest of the cast is fulfilled with solid performances by Angela Bassett, um, Forrest Whitaker, Forrest Whitaker, Daniel Kalua. Daniel Kalua. Yeah, who's, and who's getting not, a, lot of, a lot of press right now because of the set out. I was going to say, not of the Kalua drink fame, but actually oh, of, no, no. Like the Hollywood actor Kalua. That's the one. Andy Circus is once again memorable as a South African arms dealer. Um, and he definitely kicks the heart of DiCaprio when it comes to Oh, with the accent? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I really think they should, I'm waiting for the day that Hollywood adds like the word like cuck or nai or anything into like the, the vernacular yeah, of the sort of African actors. It's true. Then, then, then you know we've made it. Then it's complete. Then it's complete. Yeah, yeah. I mean, making that side I mean, like I mean, realistic. Yeah. What's, what's uh, Blomkamp, I think, attempted that with yeah. his films by using the P word and Yeah, but and I think this, like uh, the way it was delivered was just too on the nose. Yeah, it, it must be it was like a roll of the tongue. Yeah, precisely. It has to be natural. Sorry, Blomkamp. Try again, Naya. <laughs> and finally, we have Martin Freeman as the other white actor in this movie. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Freeman has done extensive work. He's aged like he's aged. Like he no, he, I think he looks okay. Right, come on. Just a few years ago, he made the hitchhiker's like guy look like a lighty. All of a sudden, he's late. He looks like an old knight. What's going on? So, PJ, it's that time. Please, let's give it a score. You go first, please. Thank you. Thank you, Uncle. I'm going to give Black Panther 7 out of 10. This is a good movie. It is. But you know what? Um, I think people are making it out to be more than it really is. And I mean, and, and I can understand why this is happening. This film stands for many things. And, and I think that's part of why people are giving it like serious credit big time. Mm. But I think that there are a couple of lighties who drank by Agatha when they didn't have to. And for that reason, I'm giving this film 7 out of 10. So you're saying they're unnecessarily stiff? Precisely, Matthew. Okay. Or too stiff. Too stiff. Too stiff. Like you know, because the advisors they make you, Remember, you they make you hot stiff. I really loved Black Panther. I absolutely love this film. I can't wait to watch it again. Um, I do feel though that it is not the best Marvel film. A lot of people are feeling that this is their best film, and that's okay. This is definitely not my best one. My favorite is still Spider-Man: Homecoming. Um, but it is definitely one of the best. I'm gonna give this film eight out of ten. It deserves it. It's a high eight. Like you, like you said, yours is a high seven. Mm. Mine's a high eight. It's like an 88, 89 percent. Um, it's just I, I do feel that people are overhyping this film, like they did with Thor. But in saying that, it's a very good film. Go watch it. So that's it this week for that movie review. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Don't be so man.